Good morning, Cedar Crest Middle School Falcons. It is Monday, November 14th, and it is cycle day four on our calendar. And this week is our last week before our Thanksgiving break. So we have one week together to work hard um, and do what we can. And then we have a nice long break. Um, we'll be off all next week. And then the following Monday we are off and we come back to school on November 29th. So this week we have a full week, but it's our last week until a nice big break. So we're super excited um, to recharge and get back for December, my favorite time of year. All right. This weekend had a couple really good paragraphs from a year of positive thinking for teens. So I wanted to share them with you. So Saturday's was called show appreciation. People enjoy being acknowledged and appreciated. It's very true. Okay. Everyone enjoys that. When was the last time you slowed down enough to thank a person who plays a big role in your life? Sure, you've probably uttered thank you along the way, but sitting with someone and really talking about how appreciative you are of their encouragement and support is different. It sends a clear message. You are important to me. My challenge for you today is to think of a person in your life um, that you're thankful for and to tell them that and really tell them what they mean to you and what they've done for your life. That's your challenge. I want you to show appreciation this week. All right. Yesterday is really cool too. It's called fix your thinking. People are always trying to figure out the best way to solve problems, but they often forget that the most important step is to fix your thinking first. You need to believe in your ability to solve your own problems. When you encounter something difficult, a positive attitude makes it easier to tackle. Try this thought instead. I know I can handle this. I will handle this. I love that change. Fix your thinking. Guys, it's all about what we tell ourselves. I say this every morning. It's all about what you tell yourself inside, right in right in here. Are you going to have a good day or are you going to have a bad day? It's really about your mindset. You can change anything um, into something positive. So let's try that. All right, today, November 14th, it's called Achieve. You can reach your goals. You just have to be patient. There are no overnight successes. That's so true, guys. There are no overnight successes and you have to work hard. No matter what you see on TV or in the movies, Achievement takes time and dedication. Follow these steps to get started on your path towards achievement. Number one, dream it. Number two, envision it. Number three, plan it. Number four, break it down. Number five, take the first step. And number six, carry on. Listen, guys, nobody's an overnight success. You have to work hard. You can achieve whatever you put your mind to, but you must you must, must work hard at it. You can't just say, I want to do this and do nothing. You have to have a plan and you have to work hard. Okay. It is the truth. All right. I hope all of you have a fantastic Monday and I will see you around. I hope you had a good weekend.